Hi, hopefuls. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel today. I just want to share with you the little bit of preps that I picked up today. And I did go in there for Pacific items like this premium ham. I know I had a couple of people comment and said that it was really um, good to add to other things. Um, and then it has a really long shelf life of, I think, 2000. 25 but i also want to get i think the hormel i think it's hormel they have one that you can keep in the refrigerator or the freezer the freezer i don't remember refrigerator free i have to look for that one but anyway i'm just sharing with you what i picked up and then the updates that i have did um far as prepping so i went also to coupon today i already took that stuff upstairs um doing coupon is just a full-time job by itself and then recording it and showing the deals but they had an excellent gain deal where you got the big 51 count of gain, then some fabric sheets and some fabric softener, and I think another detergent, y'all, for $6 subtotal. Really good deal. But when I got to my second store, they were all wiped out. So I didn't feel like getting out of the house early today. But anyway, that was a great deal, and I did that deal twice. So anyway, still... I'm not, I'm more focused on the food portion of prepping. And I think I have so much far as my couponing that I have to push myself out there because I'm trying to get, yeah, because I feel like I'm good. Even if I have to help my family out, I'm good in that aspect. But I still have to push myself. Okay, y'all. So I wanted to go to Walmart and get some more soap. We do have like Dove and Olay a lot that I got. Again, I got one today, Olay, for like a dollar. Um, at Dollar General, but I wanted to get these because they're antibacterial. They are five dollars and think 97 cents So I don't I need to pay attention how long it takes us to go We go through soap really quickly a 12 pack of soap and I want to say maybe a month so I'm really going to start paying attention when I open a pack and I want to have at least six of these six months worth of, I know I got six months worth of soap by antibacteria. So I picked up two of these. I have the two I picked up not too long ago. And then I have one that we're working down now. So next time I go back to Walmart, I'll pick up two more. I also, y'all, I told a fib. I did pick up some more of these canisters. I am loving these canisters. At the end, I'll show you what I'm doing. I got a new shelf and everything. So a lot of you all like, Hope, freeze your flour, freeze your rice. I did, y'all, in the brand new freezer... That's what, been occupied, what has been occupying that space recently. I just pulled out everything last night. So I only have two, um, two still in the sack. The other one's already froze too. Um, two still in the sack of the all-purpose Aldi flour. And then four of these bread flours that I got from Amazon. But they actually came from Walmart because I was confused when the box came. It was in a Walmart box, but I ordered it from Amazon. So I don't know if I'm gonna get any more, y'all. I I want to, but I probably have to need to put it in a in a uh, five gallon bucket. Um, these will go. I got a lot of questions about the canisters. So my family, it's five of us. I have all boys. They go through bread usually. If you watch my grocery hauls, you've been on the channel for a while. I pick up like four loaves at a time. They go through bread really quickly. If we have like tuna fish, the whole the whole loaf is gone. Um, or if I didn't cook and they eat peanut butter and jelly and sandwiches, the loaf is gone, y'all. And it's probably opening up another loaf. So, um, that makes me a little nervous far as bread, but biscuits. I have made bread from scratch, rolls from scratch, pizza crust from scratch, and I go through one of these like nothing. I did look, um, I googled how much, what did I Google? Um, how many cups did it take to make a loaf of bread? And I think it said five five cups. I can't remember y'all. Gosh. And anyway, they just let me know that that's not a lot of flour. Y'all get me? So, and then I Googled how many cups was in a five pound bag. I forgot, I think 17 cups, yeah. And it was five to four cups to make a loaf of bread. So just think about that. So, okay, y'all. So I also was listening to somebody. I don't want to say who I was listening to. And 
when they're talking about the food shortage, and I don't want to get into that. I just want to prep to be prepared. Um, they were saying have 25 pounds of rice per person. That blew me away. Um, it was a Christian person, uh, a pastor, but I was just like, uh, oh, that's a lot. So I am going to go to Sam's. I want to anyway, because I need to fill up my five gallon buckets. And I've been picking up rice here and there, but I still don't have a lot. So I have one of these containers that is filled with rice. But this is what I had in the freezer, and I pulled it out. I have another one of these in the freezer, and I just put two more, no, three five-pound bags. These bags are only three pounds. So um, I need to get, so this will go in my short-term uh, food storage, which are these containers, because I can go through rice really quickly. So if you don't have a lot of people in your family or a lot of hungry hippos like in my family, then this may not work for you putting them in these containers, but I have been picking up the ball jars. So the jars may work for you. Or if you go through it slower, slow, slowly, the, your rice and your other food, then you might want to put it in your five gallon um buckets with your mylar bags your oxygen absorbers and do all that but we go through this really quickly so i'm gonna show you let me go through this and i'm gonna show you what it looks like on my shelf okay y'all so i've been watching several youtubers preppers and they talked about this i don't know if it's good or not i guess i need to try it the pulled pork and barbecue sauce so i picked up two of these they were like three dollars and some change i don't know if they're good or not but i thought i would try it also, salmon is something that I love to eat as far as a meat in a can and tuna. Those are my two favorite. Everything else, mm, I don't know. But I'll try it. Um, except potted meat in the zip. Um, is it treat meat in the zip by the sausages? I'm not trying that. Unless I'm starving, y'all. So I did pick up some pink salmon chicken of the sea. Salmon, especially the name brand. The red can is really expensive, it's like $4. So I will go back and get some either from Aldi or from there. But today I just got these little pouches and these are so much easier, especially making salmon croquettes. I got some regular mouth lids and bands. They had some and I've been picking up y'all the whole thing of uh, jars, the ball jars and forgot I had some coupons. I had $3 off coupons y'all. So I put them in my pocketbook, but I didn't plan on buying any jars today. I think I have two pints and three, um, 32 ounce. I think it's 32 ounces. Okay. As I was going in this video, I'm sure by now you will see the little trunk that I got for the family. Now, some of the things that I picked up, I think in that haul, I'm gonna have to caption it. Some, some things are not going to last long in your long-term storage. Um, I think I was showing you guys the tasty cakes or something. I don't know what I was thinking because those have an expiration date of like only like two weeks or something and they taste stale. So anyway, but the granola bars last a little bit longer and these were $6.97, but it was a dollar peely coupon on it and I took that off. So it was like $5 and something. So this has an expiration date of, and I'm going to put this in the trunk and lock it up um february 21 so i'm not the way they eat i'm not really worried about i'm gonna go in the trunk periodically and pull out the snacks i'm not worried about them going bad or anything like that because they will eat it up that's why it's locked up okay y'all so i got some more of this dag ham every time i go in walmart it's on the top shelf pushed all the way in the back because the second one i had to get help so I went ahead and got it today. It's like $3 and something. And someone commented and said that this was really good if you're especially making like a pasta salad or something. So um, I thought I would pick up some more of that because I only have one. I picked up some green beans. I only picked up four of them and they're 38 cents. And I picked up four of the sweet peas. I did plan on going to Aldi, but I'll wait another day. So that's why I only picked up four. And this is, yeah, these are actually cheaper than Aldi, I believe. Um, I got some chunk too, and I got the four pack because you guys was like, hope it's there to pick it up. Um, a little bit at a time, you know, pick up the pack. And I probably will go to Sam's or BJ's and get a big pack of the chicken and the tuna. Okay, y'all. So in the health 
section medicine. I did a haul the other day with some medicines. I still need to go to Walgreens and get the elderberry and some other things. But Spring Valley, I really want the Nature Made, but I guess other people are starting to get vitamins too. Um, the which they should and it's really not a good selection so I really should have probably waited until I went to Walgreens but I saw they had the zinc and I saw they had the vitamin C and I had to get help to use my coupon so she saw that I had two hydrogen peroxides and she put the other one back she could have just let me have it um, so I went ahead I was picking it up anyway just to have it and anyway but I understand um, I did find one alcohol at Dollar General. It was only allowed to have one. But, um, yeah. I wanted to get the Nature Made. I heard Spring Nature Made was better than Spring Valley. But when I got saw zinc and I have not been able to find zinc, I got excited. Um, yeah, and I bet I can't take that back. I don't know. So, in these containers, I think I have one big ball, half a gallon container there. I'm also going to put my pancake mix. This is a 10 pound bag and I probably need to get another one. This came from Sam's um, because my family can go through some pancakes. When I'm making pancakes, I can go through almost a whole box of pancake mix. Um, if we have a company, probably a whole box. So I'm getting ready to put those in those containers. So I'm not really worried about um, long-term storage as far as like pancake mix and stuff like that. And the expiration date on this is May 22. All right, let me show you guys. All right, y'all. So here's the trunk. I just got all this stuff. What is that? Oh, labels. I got all this stuff. I'm about to move this stuff. But um, that's my five pound rice. I put some tortillas. I put it in the freezer bag. And if I go to Aldi's, I'm gonna go get some more to put in the freezer. I need to organize my freezer. I keep saying that, but I'm about to do it. So I got this little shelf, y'all, from Walmart. And it's not the prettiest. Uh, I love for my decorations to be pretty and for it to look nice. But it does give that like country-like feel. But um, I was a little hesitant because I have been doing a lot of research on food storage. And I do know, you know, this is sunlight and the light breaks your food down. It's not direct sunlight, but it is some sunlight that comes in. But I wanted something that wasn't expensive and I didn't have to sit mainly and put it together. Cause I did see a bookcase that had like cabinets at the bottom. And I was like, that'd be perfect for my canning stuff. But it may be a minute before I grasp canning to have a whole slew of cans, I mean jars. So um, I am gonna start or take, what is it called? I am gonna try the food dehydrator probably before the canning so i still have to do the little find a little dropper that goes in the um pot but anyway y'all i ordered this from walmart and i knew the dimensions would be perfect and it will fit right through here and then i can roll it out if i want to i made sure because this is near our patio door um i don't we don't get a lot of bugs and critters but of course in the corner you'll see maybe like a spider or something like that. So I made sure I sprayed the corner. Um, I've been spraying all, I've been spraying a lot because I got so much food in here and I just wanna make sure. But anyway, when I put it in these containers, um, it don't look like it's a lot of stuff. Um, I do have like double, like this is flour, this is sugar. Um, if I get more than this, then it needs to go in the five gallon containers. This is the um, mashed potatoes. This is my rice. So I wanted to get some more containers. I just have a few left clear ones down there. I mean, empty ones down there. And then I need to get some more grits. This is something we go through really quickly. So I know in my house, certain things we go through really quickly. So this is short term food storage. And when I say short term, three months to a year, y'all, you know, I'm cooking like I'm supposed to be cooking. <laughs> we'll go through this really quickly. So I'm not worried about it. But if you have a smaller family or you have smaller kids, I have big boys, um, a hungry husband, Josiah, he's a bottomless pit. If it's something he loves, he's six. So um, they go through stuff really quickly. So that's it, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. 
Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know if you guys, are you still prepping? Are you, have you stopped? Do you feel comfortable with what you have for the fall? Um, I would love to know. All right, bye-bye.